Okay. And then what's your question? So, I mean, it's not more of a question, man. It was just more of just trying to talk to you about, you know, the approach of, like, you know, the future as an officer, obviously. Because okay. prior to commissioning, I commissioned in, in August of uh, last year. Okay. But I enlisted in the Guard right after high school. So I was in the Guard while in college for about five years. Uh, well, in the Guard for five years, graduated in four and then uh, wanted to go active duty right after college because, you know, I always wanted to see, like, what the real Army was like, too, you know? Okay. You know, I'm happy I, I was able to get active duty through uh, ROTC. Yeah. And got my, uh, got my branch of choice, which was armor. Okay. So, you know, just trying to finish out what I got here, you know, just trying to concentrate on graduating here first and then go on to my follow-on schools. Okay. Uh, years You're going to armor school? Yeah, I'm in armor school right now. Uh, we're like halfway done now. Okay. All right. So the big thing that you got to understand is you need some mentorship, all right? And, and so you need a mentor five years ahead of you. You need a mentor 10 years ahead of you. And you need a mentor 20 years ahead of you. Okay. So like right now you are 01. You need like a junior lieutenant right now, a junior captain in the army. Okay. Right. You need a senior major or light colonel, and then you need a cap. Okay, does that make sense? Right. Okay, so you got to go find those people. They got to want to help you, but you got to go hunt for them. Okay. Now, what's your ethnicity? So my, my parents are both from Mexico, so I'm Mexican. Okay, so then I would tell you it's very important that, that, that all of those mentor, mentors are don't look like you. Okay. Right. You, you can have peer mentors. You can have another O3 that looks like you. I don't have no problem with that, but you need guys that, that like who you are for being you, and then they're going to take care of you down the road. So you got to figure out who those people are going to be, okay? And you may yeah. already know that, right? right. You got to go out there and get them because I'm going to ask you in two months, who are your mentors, right? right. And you better be able to rattle off at least the first two. It may take you a little bit to find the second one. I mean, the third one, the 20-year mentor. That'll probably come when you get out there and get some time in the tank and do all that other stuff. But you got to go get them, man. It's like maybe the most important thing you can do. Right. Okay. Like your performance, all the other stuff can be super shiny, but not less, you know what I'm saying? Like, like if you don't have the mentorship. All right, I'm going to give you an 03 right now. Hang on, man. I'm sending this text message right now before I forget. Uh, uh, 03 Army. Okay, boom. I just put y'all, I put you in a group message. So as soon as you get off the phone with me, reach out to him. Okay. God, he's, he's killing it, bro. He's killing the army right now. All right. So he'll help you out a little bit. And then you got to go find a couple more. All right. Because you can't do it by yourself, man. I don't care how good you are. I don't care how awesome you are. You can't do it by yourself. And that's probably right. the biggest hurdle, you know, for you to, to understand. Like you will need a lot of help, man. A lot of help in your career. So you got to get that help. You got to know how to get that help. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. All right. What else you got? I guess 